And so with all that preparation, finally got four, two sets of four LEDs for the side of the landing bay there. What I'm going to do now is separate all the positives from all the negatives. And what I'll do then is tie off the ends to make this a little easier. On the first set of LEDs, basically I just put them in place and then figured, realized that I had to uh, separate these. So the ends here are all pretty messed up, but this is just going to be a very temporary hold. All of this is actually going to get chopped off at some point. I had to look twice because there's a green on the positive and green on the negative, but I did get the positives wired correctly. So that's one reason why when you're doing a lot of different colors, when you do come across two of the same one, you want to keep them on the same chain. And let's test these out. Positive and negative and all four of them light. So we're doing good so far. So I'm keeping this loose right now because when this goes into the actual landing bay, of course things are gonna change up a little as far as their position goes. That's why I wanted to tie off the very end of it to keep help keep track of it there. So let's see, my soldering iron is off, good. I have a habit of leaving that on sometimes, which is not good. So over here, this is definitely very clearly going to be a tight fit. This is a main bus right here, positive and negative. And uh, I just got the spacing correct by total accident. Of course, it would have been better if I had put these over. Well, there's really no great place for them, but here would have been all right too. But uh, I'm not going to rewire it now unless I'm absolutely forced to, and I definitely don't want to be absolutely forced to rewire all this. So let's, uh, I got an idea. So rather than on this side, the lights start at the top and flow to the bottom, I'm thinking they're gonna flow from the bottom and go up to the top, something more like this. So this one right here is definitely one to worry about because uh, this is a negative exposed lead Oh, that is the negative by total coincidence. It does not matter if those touch. Well, it might because, no, because that wouldn't matter either. Well, there is no danger here, so I'm happy to say that. And for funneling these lights around, obviously they can't stay there. But if I can move them so that they come around the top here, maybe. There's definitely no hope in helping this one here. Well, that kind of works. That's a lot of extra length on that one, so we'll push that back further. I just barely want these to rest inside the edge. That's definitely plenty of uh, room for them right there.
So what I think I'm going to do is to allow the wires enough room there is put a piece of heat shrink right here. This is going to be a bigger tube. Don't want it to be too long. Having tied these ends off is going to make this a lot easier to thread as well. Last time I did this piece on the other two LEDs, I threaded every wire through individually. Which is not very efficient, so that's where I want this to stay. So I'm kind of clamping it in there. And wherever that lighter went. So this piece of shrink isn't necessarily going to stick as well as the ones around the resistors because there's not a lot of texture here for it to really cramp down on. But what I want to do now Black is negative and orange is positive. All right. I wanted to make sure I had my colors right before I do this. Again, don't need a lot of shrink. This is not only does it insulate, but it also holds stuff in place really well and groups wires very nicely. I'll put that one there and I'll put a red one on this. Nice and easy fast visual ID. And what I will do now is start twisting these actually so that there is some texture going on. And now that I think of it, that's what I did yesterday as well. Now the difference between these two locking down will be really significant. So you can see the texture right in the heat shrink, whereas up here there's just a whole lot of nothing. There we go. So I'm pretty sure there should be room here for the deck as long as this stays below this level here, and that's right about there at the limit. This is where I want them to be. It's where they need to be, really. I still have access to the power leads there. And, uh, yeah. All the major wiring that I need to do is already in here, so these power buses here are linked over to the far side by means of this red and green wire running majorly through there. But I can still pull this wall out, so that's not a problem. And for the moment, what I'll do is uh, glue this down. Because I am very sure this is where I want it to be. Definitely want to leave myself a little extra room. So that's a good amount for another project. And being all tangled up, it's easily stored. And we'll go... Right there.
Alright, so these are set and ready to go. I can pull these out. I'll probably tangle them up here. Nice and tidy, relatively speaking. So we can pull that out, and it's time to check out the other wall here.